Hey everybody, it's Magically122 and this is my first YouTube video ever. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, one of my Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 parks in progress. It's right here. Uh, and I'm going to be explaining some of the things I did in it. And at the very end, I will be showing uh, a money cheat. So, anyways, at the entrance, uh, you always want to have an information kiosk. Um, everyone that walks in, pretty much everyone, will buy a map, and that will help prevent them from getting lost, and will also give you a uh, 50 cents profit. So, um, it, information kiosks generally make lots of money. I'm making $76 per hour, but I've made a nice sum of money uh, in total. So it's always great to have one. You should definitely have one at the entrance of your park. So moving on to rides, uh, you always want to have at least one, sometimes two, uh, gentle rides near the entrance. Uh, I chose to have a merry-go-round, and I didn't have another one. I just I put a thrill ride in this Viking pirate ship thing. So. Uh, I also have these two food stands, I mean burger bar and a lemonade stall. They are making me lots and lots and lots of money because it's the entrance is a crowded area so I thought oh yeah what a nice place to put food even though people say don't put it there because they're not hungry when they first come in but I think it's a good idea so making me lots of money so yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> this is my entrance roller coaster. It's Tiny Tim. I built it uh and generally for roller coasters at the entrance of your park you want to keep them very small so they don't attack uh, i mean attract too much attention even though i have a very long queue line for this one well not too long but it's full even though it's a tiny roller coaster and that's because the entrance of the park area is very crowded and this park overall is pretty decent 835 park rating i've i had it up at 999 before but it looks like I've got lots of tr like throw up and vomit and trash around here so might be why it's a little lower anyways moving on to the second branch of my park I've got food and drink you always want to spread those out e everywhere so guests don't complain about hunger and thirst all the time I've got a thrill ride that is currently broken down it's the motion simulator I named it trick movie <clears throat> I've got a free fall uh, roto drop ride uh, it's called Falling Up. It's, I mean, it's a good ride, except it's got lots of thrill. Not very popular, but it just causes people to throw up so much. So I usually have to get a handyman, and then I have to do this and, you know, drop him on the vomit and the trash. And in this food court area, I see I've got a smash bench there. Generally, uh, vomit, trash, all that stuff leads to making guests mad which makes them smash stuff so you want to keep your food areas or areas where you have lots of things to smash clean so yeah and then I've also got a haunted house here that those are great for especially when it rains you always want to have at least one indoor ride in your park okay moving on uh, I've got this roller coaster inverted roller coaster uh, I tried to keep it small, not too high excitement rating, because still it's at the beginning area of my park. I want to put the big ones all back here. Maybe one big one on the lake would look nice. I named it T-Rex because it's like Jurassic style. I have a first aid entrance, I uh, first aid room right at the exit. Moving on, more food, drink. I built go-karts. Go-karts are great. Everybody likes go-karts. Very crowded, but you have to keep the queue lines short you can't make them long like uh, because this queue line right now is seven minutes and I'm pretty sure after five minutes guests start getting mad and then you they think that oh I've been queuing for go-karts forever and then they get mad so lastly uh, I have Winterland again it's one of these like spinning water rides I made it go underground right here because I mean that just improves the excitement rating a lot so it's always nice to go underground especially on roller coasters okay second side of my park got choppers uh, the mini choppers gentle ride 
again keep the queue line short because only two people can fit on each one and they go like two miles an hour or yeah two miles an hour so it's slow uh, spinning magic carpet ride food drink you always want to have food and drink you don't want to have like food food you want to have drink food so people don't get thirsty or hungry again another food court I like to include restrooms in all my food courts and also um, some kind of souvenir stand because the food courts get crowded so the souvenirs will sell very well and here uh, it looks like I've got a bunch of litter in front of my wooden roller coaster that I built which I actually built too big and too exciting so it's attracting a lot and lot of people I would have rather built something like this in the back of my park because currently it has an excitement rating of 7.38 which I think is a little bit too much for the entrance area of your park it's a decent coaster though wasn't that hard it was pretty easy to build and quick so again food and drink restroom got a 3d cinema here these things are always popular I recommend putting these whenever you can it takes you have to unlock them though takes a little while but put it down when you unlock it they're always great and then here I built a uh, a monster truck ride which I'm going to delete actually because uh, it the ride is just way too slow I mean these trucks are going four miles an hour five whatever oh, okay faster on the slopes but it just takes way too long people especially if it breaks down people will get mad they're like oh I want to get off monster trucks one like that and it also makes people wait in the queue line for much too long five minutes oh, that's okay but still if it breaks down they're gonna get mad okay that is my park at the moment so please share any comments uh, if you find any see any problems with the park or have any questions please let me know and I will answer them uh, and then now I will be showing you the money cheat so this works with any kind of block like this this Roman block or um, or this block or this block so basically what you want to do is just come anywhere it doesn't you don't have to have a huge space you can just put one down and stack them up with shift and I had like four thousand dollars when I started doing this so anyways stack them up high 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 as high as you can go until it starts getting slow so yeah there's one and here I'll do one more okay good enough so then what you want to do you want to go to your thrill rides and get uh, click on the free fall and build your own design button and then what you want to do you want to position the free fall so that the tower is right inside of those blocks although the block tower you built so anyways then just build the tower all the way up to where your blocks are to I mean the highest point of your blocks then just delete it all now I had four thousand dollars when I f first started now I have seven thousand watch this I'm getting two hundred seventy five per thing that I do and then you can delete it all and that was two towers that was like a six thousand dollar profit right there and that was quick thing that was just really quick okay well thank you for watching again please please comment I appreciate it a lot and please if you want be the first to subscribe to my channel there will be more videos on scenarios that I'm going to be playing uh, out shortly okay thank you